In the heavenly armor we'll enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. We need to remember that the battle is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. The image behind me is of an angel in battle for us, for God. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, there are all sorts of spirits and all sorts of things out there. Just fighting, 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 constantly fighting. We don't need to be in between it. We can just step aside and just be close to God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't need to fight. I used to be a warrior. I used to fight all the time. I'm like, okay, I'm retired from that. I've got a better place now. I'm I'm chilling with God over here. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's word with Joel and Victoria. The scripture is from Exodus 5, 2 from NIV. Pharaoh said, who is the Lord that I should obey him and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord and I will not let Israel go. The title to this devotional is Pass the Test. When the Israelites were in slavery, God told Moses to tell Pharaoh to let the people go. Moses obeyed, but Pharaoh said no. What do you do when you do what God tells you to do, but then it doesn't work? Was Moses going to get discouraged and give up because it wasn't happening the way he thought? It was a time of testing. He had to go back and tell Pharaoh again and again before freedom was finally granted. What do you do when you pray? You believe you're doing the right thing again and again, but nothing's improving. The people aren't changing. The medical report isn't improving or your business isn't getting any better. This is when you have to dig deep and say, God, I'm not moved by what's changing. Oh, I'm not moved by what's not changing. I'm not going to wilt, start complaining, and give up my dreams. I'm going to keep doing the right thing. When you pass the test like that, instead of those difficult stopping, the difficulties stopping you, they will lift you. Instead of defeating you, they will promote you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we received that. I received that. You received that? Yes, we will wait. And we'll keep on doing it again and again and again, whatever God is calling us to do. Even though if we feel like it's not doing anything, it doesn't matter. It's about us, the test of us obeying God. He'll handle the results, not us. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much that our faith and trust are anchored to you to your mighty power, to the work that you are doing in our lives, Lord. Thank you that we don't have to be moved by the tests and the troubles that's going around that, you know, that we face every single day, Lord, that you are fighting our battles. You are the God of results. The results are not up to us. And we thank you. We thank you so much for that, that we're not responsible for it. And Lord, we just want to continue to stay anchored in you, focused 24-7 with all of our five senses. We love you and we want to obey you always, always, always. In Jesus' precious, holy, purifying, obeying name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, my dear friends. Until and, and family members, until tomorrow, Saranata.